it's been an emotional roller coaster. It has really. Uh, we got off to a flying start. Uh, we lost one uh, well, through the way we did, and we started to get back in our stride. Then, then of course the weather hit us, and I think at one stage we were six games behind. And you know the boys dig deep. You know two games a week, and you know fair play on the run we've been on has been absolutely phenomenal. And uh, I take my hat off to my players, my staff. And well, my support, as, they, well, as you've just heard, the second and then the league. Can't put it into words. Awesome. What an occasion. They won the league. We got the cup final. All right, things didn't go our way, but we had them on the ropes the second half. So I can't be more, no more proud. You can't ask for more than that. It means a great deal to the club. It means that we can move on and look forward to another season next year at another level and challenge ourselves again. We've grown uh, as a team and we've just. You know, we want to win, and you know we've come up against some tough sides like Land Rumney, Kayaks, Aberbarg. They're never easy games. The boys been together for about ten years now. We got used to all the Idens years ago, and just grew into it now. It's nice to dish them out for a change. Apart from tonight, obviously. It, it all comes down to us versus Aberbarg right? on a Wednesday night, and the passion that went into that game is unbelievable. And we come out on top, which mean we won the league at the end of it, so it was a yeah, fantastic fit, right? Three years ago we set out a three year plan and our aim was to get out the Division 6 as quick as we could. Uh, it was narrow last year, we've only done it last year. This year, you know, we, we have done the business, the boys have stuck together, we've done the business. Awesome for the club, the club being in the doghouse for a couple of years now, it's nice to really put Ken Forest back on the map. Like I say, we put up with a couple of items a good couple of years ago and it's nice to come through now and finally vote with the big boys. Like, so. Couldn't be prouder. Hopefully next year now, yes, we will be uh, letting a lot of young players into the team as a few old ones, you know, maybe hanging their boots up. Um, but uh, no, it's, it's a good bet. And like I say, the club can only go forward from us. Well, the good thing is about Kevin Forest Rugby Club is everyone's from Kevin Forest. We don't have no one come in from anywhere else. We're all Kevin Forest through and through. We're all Kevin Forest boys. So like a band of brothers. What do you think the standout, standout performances or standout players have been this season? Um, to be honest, there's been a few. Um, Jason Watson for the forwards, Carl Spiker, but Chris Meredith, um, 30 tries this season. It's, it's a phenomenal amount of tries in a season, so that's off to him. Fair play to him. I've got to say, I, I've got to thank my coaching staff and every, all my players, and uh, uh, say supporters, but I think our captain Chris Meredith tried tonight again, you know, against you know opposition as good as this, you know, a Division 2 side now, and that's 30 tries that boy has scored this season. It, it's an absolutely phenomenal effort. And, I just got to thank my players. Uh, they've been absolutely fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Need a month off. I think we got a lot of injuries now. We've only got a little squad, and we've had a lot of games this year now. So I think the boys need a month, six weeks off, and straight back into them ready for next season. Hundred percent. The supporters, they're fantastic. You won't get no more passionate supporters than Kevin Forrest. That's without a doubt. That is as you could hear here tonight. It's phenomenal. I think. I'll be totally honest. This is my last season, and uh, I is. The boys have done me more than proud. They've done their village proud. And yes, Kevin Forrest will be there or thereabouts again next season. I can assure you that. The future is looking fantastic. We've got a few youngsters coming up next year. So hopefully we can go on onwards and upwards. Yeah, looking yeah. forward to next season. Bit interested to see what's going to happen with the leagues. No, we got in our league and everything, but I don't see why we can't keep on, keep on going up now. Yeah.